All right, that's it. Wrap for day four. We got our header in. I'm going to show you guys how I did this. Stay tuned to the video. So there's probably about a thousand ways of putting on a flange. I'm gonna show you how I put on the flange with no extra tools, how I've been doing it for so long, never give me any issues. First, spin on the flange. That's it, pretty simple. And when I really wanna get tight, no extra tools and it works. As like, let me just get a using the same tools I already have. That's that. There you go, flange is on. Okay.
All right, so this is the header. This is what I have going on. I have two three inch risers into a six inch header. Six inch all the way to the elbow for the equalizer. I'll reduce after. Now, you'll see what I did here was I went from three inch to four inch to six inch. Now, the only reason I, I did that was because the supply house that we use said that they didn't actually make a three by six increase or six by three reducer. So I had to do it that way, whatever. Still works, still does what it has to do. So HB Smith actually recommends that you do two three inch risers into a four inch header. Sure, pretty sure it works, but I like to keep the steam very dry. This is why I did the drop header. This is why it comes up, drops back down. I'm trying to get rid of all of that water in my header. I don't want any water into the, into the steam system. So I drop it, losing as much water as I can, right on the risers, then whatever else I can, right in the drop header. I go larger, to try to slow that velocity down of that steam. I don't want it so aggressive. I don't want steam, I don't want water in, in my steam lines. This is why I, I go a little above and beyond. But hey, every time I've done it, it's always worked for me. This is what I do.